Hello everybody! I would like to share with you a fun tutorial about little fairy kitty. Uh, you will need some natural leaves like sage or rose. I made some sketch and I selected this pink for my wings. You can see it's on medium setting. So press well your leaves into the clay. These are just very fresh so they are a little bit resistant but still possible to press them into the clay. Use roller, sometimes it works and in this case it's necessary to press them a little bit by fingers because they are really fresh. And you need to hold them and you need to put them into the pasta machine to get a really deep impression. Um, keep same thickness as you had. So you cut them out, just free form as I did by scalpel and set up the wing setup according to your sketch. It's really better to have some sketch um, as I did. So I mixed the pigment and the liquid clay and I will glaze them a little bit. So not a thick layer of this glazing, but some. It's milky now, but it will go more transparent after baking. So it will look a little bit better. So cover it. As you can see, you can mix some colors if you like it a little bit white, just to see what happened. And now I selected the size of my head, which is an oval shape, and I will use a plastic for cutting to have nice smooth edges. It's not necessary actually to do this, but sometimes it's help. So this is my future kitty hat. And it needs to have some earring ears, which are easier to cut out from this because you can see the correct size of ears and it really helps as you can see. So in case of cats, cut small ears. So little triangles, nothing special and connect them into your future head so it's just a simple oval shape. So it looks like a kitty now, right? A little bit. Place it on your wings and it's really good to follow your sketch where to place it because there is a liquid on it. It will stick immediately and you cannot move it. So think twice. I got two silver circles and a little ball of silver and now I put a little black ball which will make a mouth part of my kitty. As you can see it looks more like a cat now. Very simple, nothing special. Just make it smooth by wax paper. Um, to remove any possible fingerprints. I use it all the time. So now eyes. This is the way how you can keep the shape quite round as you wish. Cut and replace smooth and cut out your eyes like so. They are quite big, so this is a baby cat. They have big eyes. And we need to make them more vivid. So a little light on eyes is necessary. So just two little white dots and place them on the same position. This is important because you don't have a ball eyed cat, right? So same position, flat them and face is almost done. And now the body. Again, 
I use my oval cutter just because I need to get correct proportion. And because it was quite sad color, I decided to embellish it by some petals and make some flowers, but you can definitely cut out the body from, let's say, Nokomegane sheet or whatever you wish, or some stripes or any other design. You can also use some texture. It's according to your fantasy. I selected this flower design for now. Now, because it was quite empty, I decided to put some pink dots as well. So again, just quickly some dots and flat them by paper again. So, and I definitely need to refine my curve by cutter because we need to set it up perfectly. So, and body is done. And now again, two circles, two bigger, two smaller for hands and legs, let's say. I will place them on tile first and I will put them under the body because it's in the air, let's say. And pause. Just make them a little bit nicer. Cut a little bit and just place. It's very fast. And the second one needs to be underlaid because there is not wing under it. So I just place a little ball under the future hand. Okay, let's better position. So flat it, place it and Ta-da! It's connected, finally. And smooth again to have nice surface because cutting, oh, sanding is a little bit harder in this case. So make everything nice and smooth. And the, there needs to be some crown because it's a queen of fairies. So this is very simple, just cut like so and place it again under the head because there are no wings. So it needs to be like so and it will support your head as well. So just a few little dots, mouth, some marks into ear, ears and eyebrows are also nice to have. So we can make some fingers by toothpick just quickly to make it more living creature. And this is again a liquid clay with pigment just well, a bit this and there. It's better to use toothpick than brush because this is really very small area, as you can see. And this is oh, just a little bit of gold because it's nicer if it is more gold than the original color of clay and this and there for wings. Just to make it more connected and a little bit here and here. Just a pink powder. And now it's ready for baking. So bake it. According to your polymer clay brand. So just follow instruction. It's already baked and I have a little piece of masonite. You can use a cardboard or any, any some wood or whatever. Just there needs to be some primer or 
white acrylic. I selected pink. It's a light, light pink color, and this is ultramarine blue, but it can be literally anything what you like. And just make it, cover it, and blend it. As you can see, this is the way how to blend two colors together. And it was too light, too pale for me, so I decided to cover it by a little bit dark blue, which is a Prussian blue, which is a little bit warmer shade of blue. And I dab it by paper. As you can see, and I scratched some lines, which is really looks gorgeous. So it means your surface color must be still wet. So you make some scratches by stick and ch check by eyes if you like it, if it is a good surface. And now some stars by white. The white is a little bit mixed with water to have it more liquid because it needs to be if you want to make stars with brush. And when it's done, let it completely dry. Because you will imprint the leaves on it. This is a gold acrylic and I just covered the bottom of leaves with veins and I imprint them so as a frame for the fairy. It looks gorgeous and nature is the best artist so let's use it. It needs a little bit more color for imprint and I found that it really needs to have like so way more colors and you can imprint the leaf twice or three times this is the best practice so you can see cover it and imprint this and there and make a frame of course you can use more colors not only gold you can use white or dark blue and you can see how it will looks like so I quite like it and I'm thinking about the position which I think it's a little bit offset not in the center at all and you can see the scratches how it looks like together in detail and the last step is to glue your creature into the surface. I like to use a glue gun for this because it looks it it's it's really easiest and it's very functional. So first of all I will glue some tentacles or I will glue some antennas of course not tentacles <laughs> antennas for this fairy and they are just these are little pin hats uh, in gold color as you can see they are just cute they are and now it's just time to glue it at all so use some generous portion of Glue. Be careful, it's really hot, so don't uh, hurt yourself and just glue it like so and done. And because it's a fairy tale creature, it needs to have some rhinestones. So I selected just simple uh, colorless stones, or these are from glass, of course because I think they will be nice, but not too much um, disattracting or let's say um, decent. So use 
super glue at this moment because it's I think impossible to glue them by heat gun and if you have some rhinestone um, holder it's better than with players so glue them step by step you can see they are a little bit sparkling I put one on the crown and some of also on the body of the kitty and it's done so i hope you enjoy this project and thank you for subscribing likes and everything